Okay, so what we're gonna do today is show you how to harvest and eat sunflowers. And so this is our sunflower patch here, and this is actually a Jerusalem artichoke that has gone nuts. There's a few Jerusalem artichokes. They grow way over 10 feet tall. And so uh, that's not what this is right here, but uh, this is a sunflower. And so, I mean, it's way too high. I can't even get that. Now, if you remember in some of my past videos we did earlier on, we showed you we won a first place rib blue ribbon at the county fair with our sunflower. I had the biggest sunflower there and it got a first place blue ribbon. So that was kind of neat. And so what I'm gonna do here, I can't even get this to down lower to cut it. So I'm gonna have to break the stalk and get it down here. Put some ants on it. And just cut that right there at the base. There's some bugs on it. But that's just perfect for harvesting. And you can see right there, get all that off there. Well, there's the sunflowers right there and they're just starting to get uh, to a point where they're loose and they'll start to come out and so that's when we that's when you want to get these we're going to wash them we're going to soak them in a brine and then we're going to roast them and uh, they're going to be ready to eat so we got a bunch of these to harvest i'm going to go cut them down and, and then we'll get these ready Okay, so we're busy now uh, taking out all the seeds out of the, out of the sunflowers. You see, I got the sunflowers here. They're all stacked up, and we're gonna get these uh, going. And what I'm doing is just breaking them off piece by piece, and then just going through, and then using my fingers just to pull them off, and they're just kind of going into the bowl. And so some of them I spill off, and you gotta pick them up, but you know, like that. Now you gotta be kind of careful. Now most of these you're gonna be able to use and eat, but if you notice, some of these have got little worms in them. See the little worm right there? Uh, but just a few of these, you know, are going to have worms in them, but the rest of them are going to be totally fine. And once you put, the next step we're going to do here is going to kill all the worms anyway. But even if you go to like David's sunflower seeds, the sunflower seeds you buy in the store, a lot of those, uh, you'll find dead worms in them. And so hopefully you're going to have uh, no more than what you're going to find at the stores. But anyway, uh, you just throw those away once you find them. But anyway, uh, you just go through with your thumb and continue to just push these off and they fall right into your hand like that and we're going to do that for all of the sunflower seeds that we have and they're nice plump sunflower seeds look at that these are great i've already been eating them and they're delicious just by themselves without any salt on them at all they're delicious and so what we're going to do is uh, continue to finish doing this and then i'll bring you to the next step okay so what we've done here is we have finished pulling off all of the seeds off these here. I mean the ones in the center are really small so we're not going to use those. I guess I could if I wanted to but uh, we pulled off all of the seeds now of these sunflower heads and I really recommend if you're going to do this to make sure you find a variety of sunflowers. There are hundreds, probably maybe thousands of varieties of different sunflowers with different designs and colors. Try to find, if you're going to be using this for eating, try to find a mammoth or some type, type of jumbo sunflower variety that you can use to to harvest and eat. Uh, some of these smaller versions just don't work. They're great if you want to save bird seed, but you're, they're not good for eating. And so in the middle, I've just kind of discarded those and we're gonna use these and feed these and put these in the compost. Uh, maybe feed them to our worms. Anyway, this is a great time where you can save your seeds for next season. So what we've done is we've taken three different flowers and we've pulled seeds off of three different flowers so that if one is not viable, the other ones will be. So we have three different varieties of uh, basically the same type of sunflower seed um, from three different flowers that we're gonna save for next year's production. And we're gonna set those aside. And so the next step, you can see all of our sunflower seeds here. These are ready to go. These are all the seeds we harvested. And we're gonna take these and put these in a brine for 24 hours. So that's the next step. Now you see here, I have a David sunflower seed box. Now, I used to buy, you know, go to Sam's or Costco or one of the big box stores and you buy your sunflower seeds in bulk. And that's what I used to do. And uh, so I'm going to take this old David sunflower seed and I'm going to make my own. So no more buying sunflower seeds at the store. And so what we'll do is we'll take this and we're going to dump these into uh, there. And there's uh, basically a gallon of water in there. And so we're going to mix that up. Okay. Take this one too. We'll put that in there. 
And there's some bits of, uh, you know, the sunflower that's in there that get worked in. If you find those bits, you can take those out, or you can sift those through a sifter if you have them. But most of the big bits have been taken off. And so what you're going to do is you're going to get that wet. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to come over here. We use, the, it's called the Real Salt brand. This is actually real salt that's mined out of the earth. It's not been chemically processed or bleached in any way. And it contains all of the 31 trace minerals that natural salt contains. And so this is a very healthy salt for you and your family. And we use this in almost everything we do when it comes to salt around here on the homestead. I've been using this product for years. And uh, if you can find it online or maybe find it at a co-op near you, I think you'll really um, find that it is a very healthy alternative uh, for real salt, you know, the kind of salt that you buy, buy at the store that's been bleached or, or gone through a chemical process. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about, oh, let's see, some chunks in here, about a cup worth of the real salt, and I'm going to put it inside of the bucket. And that's going to create a brine. And need, I'm going to mix it up, and this, this brine is going to sit here for about 24 hours. I'm just going to mix this up. I'm going to get a big spoon in a minute and stir this up for a while. But what we're going to do is allow this to sit and brine for about 24 hours. And what this is going to do, it's also going to disinfect anything that may be in here, you know, any type of bacteria or mold or whatever that may have gotten in here. It's going to kill any worms, like we said, that you, you may find inside of uh, um, uh, the sunflower seeds. And like I said before, even if you buy David sunflower seeds from the store, you find sunflower seeds in the pack and they have you know dead worms in them and so if you find those just throw them aside and then this is also just going to give it some good flavor too the salt so this is going to penetrate the sunflower seed the soft shell of the sunflower seed and it's going to um, give it some good flavor and so we're going to let this sit for 24 hours and then we're going to come back and then we're going to show you what happens next okay so We've let our seeds soak in a brine for 24 hours, and what we're going to do now is go ahead and take a look at this. If you look down in the bucket, you'll see that the seeds are down there, they're in the water. And what we used is a glass lid off one of our, uh, off one of our uh, pots and to hold down the seeds, and that held the seeds down underneath the water. And so we're going to take that out now, shake it off, get all the seeds off of there. So this lid just helped to keep the, the seeds submerged in the salt brine. And so now, there you go, you've got all of these, these seeds right there and they are ready to be dried. And if you take a look at our table here, we've got a piece of plastic over the table and we're going to spread these seeds out over the table and we're going to let these air dry. Um, it's kind of hot out today and so we're hoping even though it's not in the sun, that these will dry and we'll pat them down a little bit with some towels and spread them out. Let these dry for a couple hours and then this evening we will pop these inside of the brick oven and allow these to roast for, oh I don't know, a few minutes because it's pretty hot in that oven. And so we'll get back with you. So we'll let these spread out and then get back to you as soon as they're dry and get ready to toss them in the oven. Okay, so we just pulled them out of the oven, and there they are. Nice, evenly roasted. They look great. I've been eating them the entire process along the line, and they look great. And so that's going to go a long way of feeding my sunflower habit all winter long. So, all right, that's it. That's how easy it is to grow, harvest, and eat your very own sunflower seeds. See you next time on Homestead.